Hi, this is Saad Shah of MetricX, and in this demo, I'm going to show you a way of taking control of collections and delinquency. What I'm going to show you is an interactive report that looks like this. I'm going to be showing you the accounts, receivable aging amounts from different points of views. So in this upper panel here, I'm showing you the AR aging amount by month for different properties. And in the lower panel, I'm showing you the outstanding balances by each tenant over different months. So the goals for building this module were, number one, help us reduce bad debt and help us improve collections. And most importantly, enable us to be proactive by providing us an early warning system so we can detect upcoming problems where tenants might start falling behind on payments or things we need to alert our property managers to so that we can ensure timely collection. So the data for this module is based on the account receivable aging report. But for this particular situation, what I did was I ran the AR aging report for 24 months so I can do some trend analysis. So there's a lot of data here that we're going to visualize because we have, for every tenant, we have the outstanding balance for 24 months. So let's go ahead and visualize the data. So here I'm showing you the balances and uh, I'm going to start adding in the aged amounts. So here we've got the different buckets that are color coded. The red is balances that are greater than 90 days. Then 60 to 90 is orange, less than 60 is uh, uh, <clears throat> the yellow, and green is less than 30 days. So this is showing me data for my entire portfolio. And uh, it's good to know, but uh, in order to be proactive and to figure out opportunities for improving collections, I need to be able to drill down into this data. So first of all, let's just look at this information by charge type and see if, if there are any differences from uh, uh, charge type to charge type in terms of my collection efficiency. So I'm going to just pull the charge type here. And uh, as expected, my rent charge, of course, is the uh, uh, greatest amount. And uh, it, some of the other charges are negligible. So uh, what I can do is um, uncheck these uh, big numbers. And here now I can see the furniture and key uh, charges and take a look and see if I do fall behind in those collections as well. And uh, since I can see some red uh, chunks here, uh, it's clear that uh, even uh, uh, <coughs> collections for these also needs to be addressed. So I'm going to pull in all the charges and take a look at them together. So now I'm interested in looking at this by my property. So let's pull this in. <clears throat> I'm going to take the charge type out. Okay, so now these are the outstanding balances. So for example, if I had run the uh, AR aging report in May, I would have seen uh, these kinds of balances uh, by different buildings. And then uh, the June report would have shown these balances and so on. But here, I've, since I've put all the reports in one, uh, visual, um, I'm able to see them side by side and see what the trends are as well. So now, wouldn't it be nice now to be able to say, hey, uh, for this building, uh, who are the tenants that are accounting for uh, this kind of an outstanding balance? So for that, let's go to the data visualization that we built. So this is the full interactive visualization that you saw at the beginning. And uh, so I can select a particular building over here. And the lower panel will update and will show me all the tenants in that building and their outstanding balances. So here I've got a vertical bar that just shows me the total amount outstanding. But um, here the it's uh, more of a horizontal bar just because I needed to pack in a lot more information in, into this panel. And uh, since these are color coded here, you can see which tenants are running up uh, these uh, high outstanding balances and where we're good on collections. So 
being able to see this month by month, I can see where the balances are growing or where they're um, being paid off. And if we're going to have high amounts of delinquency and ultimately have to write off bad debt. So on the right side, we can pick the date range that we want to look at by checking and unchecking the months. And here I can focus on uh, specific properties as well. So I hope this gives you a preview of what is possible when you have a tool like this in your hands. With this report open in front of you, you're able to meet with your teams and ask questions like, you know, are there opportunities to reduce bad debt? You know, which properties are performing better at collections than others? And uh, is our is our accounts receivable at acceptable levels or is it growing or shrinking? And then are there specific tenants that we need to pay attention to and have a conversation with? You can find out more about this module on our website at metricx.com as well as our product site rentviewer.com. And if you've got questions or suggestions for making this even more powerful, please get in touch with me. My name is Saad Shah. And thank you for watching.